hi there and welcome back to station road now today is the big day for the competition and if you've missed the previous videos this is really basically to um, commemorate reaching over 3,000 subscribers so in a sense really basically a big thank you to all of those who subscribed and have contributed and made comments and feedback to my videos and the Station Road channel. So you would have noticed in some recent videos uh, I provided a bit of a sneak preview into the prize package for this competition and if we go back to these uh, we have the Metcalf Brewery kit which as I mentioned before it's uh, not in production by Metcalf and I'm hoping one day they might reintroduce it possibly even remodel it um, and improve it as well so that is one of the prizes and also as part of the package uh, as I mentioned the other day I did a prize upgrade I'm also adding in the factory kit as well from Metcalf so with these two kits you should be able to build yourself quite a reasonable industrial setting on your layout now before I get into the actual details of the competition I will say that this is not affiliated with Metcalf in any way they are not sponsoring me they have not supplied me with these kits these I have paid for out of my own pocket and it is simply a personal gesture to my subscribers on this channel so you're probably all wondering how do I go about winning these kits and it was actually quite tricky thinking of what type of competition to actually run. I did a previous competition when I reached a thousand subscribers and it was basically a running session where I hid stray dogs and a cat on the layout and the objective was to find these stray dogs and the cat. So I didn't really want to sort of go down the same route again and I sort of wanted to focus in actually something relating to these kits and I decided well I actually need to name my own brewery on the layout. Currently it is actually nameless. So what better way to find a name for this brewery than for you guys to actually come up with something for me. So I'll just get my brewery which I have pulled off the layout and as I've mentioned in previous videos most of my uh, models can lift off the layout. So this is the brewery that sits on the station road layout and essentially this is actually what you can uh, achieve with the Metcalf kit. So that is the brewery that uh, I actually need naming. So a couple of uh, sort of prerequisites or rules around the competition. The first thing is I just want a single name for the brewery. So for example um, here in New Zealand like there might be Carlton Brewery. So it's just one name plus the, the word brewery. I will limit the number of characters in that first name in the in the actual name to 10 characters and I'll just show a wee mock-up of where the signs are actually going to go on this brewery and so we're going to have a ghosted sort of painted name running down the length of the chimney so I'd, 10 characters definitely don't want anything more than 10 characters for it to fit on the chimney and then there will be a sign two signs on the at the opposite end one which may just have the name by itself without the word brewery and then there is another sign around the end which would have the name plus the word brewery as well so as you can see that's why I sort of don't want to have anything more than 10 characters but in terms of the actual name itself I am completely open to ideas even borderline kind of silly might be entertaining just to see what people come up with but within reason 
uh, let's let's not get too carried away with the names. I guess probably another little bit of background history to assist possibly in people coming up with names is the layout Station Road is sort of set just over a decade so the layout can range from anything from nine, late 1950s like 1959 possibly 58, all the way through to the early 70s. So maybe 71, 72. So whether or not brewery names, you know, might be sort of characterized in that sort of period, the 1960s industrial England type thing. So yeah, and it doesn't really, in terms of Station Road, it is a fictional setting. So I hope that kind of helps uh, when it comes to thinking of names. So how this is actually going to work is I would like just simply one name per entry and essentially what I'm going to do with that is I will initially go through all the names and I'm going to pick out the top 10. So the top 10 names will then go into a hat and we have a hat here uh, which instantly has, happens to be, uh, be our hat. Uh, so the top 10 names are going to go in there. Now if by chance, and this could quite possibly happen, more than one person actually submits the same name and that name ends up in the top 10, then those entries will be included. So there may well end up being more than one uh, slip of paper in here with the same name on it and it will simply be luck of the draw who might be picked out. So I'm taking a little bit of a gamble here. I will pick out the top 10 names, but then when I actually choose from this hat, it'll be a bit of a surprise to me as well as to what name actually ends up on this brewery. So I'm going to run this competition for two weeks, which I think is um, long enough for people to scratch their heads and think of some interesting names and the closing date will be the 3rd of October which is a Saturday two weeks from now and then on the following day the Sunday will be the actual prize draw so for the actual prize draw I will actually run through all the top 10 names so everyone can actually see what other people had actually come up with and I'll also actually probably make mention of any other interesting or notable names that maybe didn't quite make it into the top 10. So I think it's all going to be quite a fascinating and interesting exercise in itself. So in terms of submitting your entry into this competition rather than submitting it in the comments section below I will get you to submit it via an email address which I have provided in the description of this video. This way if you have come up with a name that you think is absolutely fabulous but you've discovered that somebody else has actually already submitted that name we can avoid that issue because it may be quite interesting to see if the same name actually comes up more than once because that may well indicate its uh, suitability or popularity because not forgetting I'm actually not UK based and I am not familiar with the breweries over in the UK so I really am relying on particularly my UK viewers your background knowledge and expertise from over there. Now for those who are not UK based I still very much encourage you to uh, submit an entry into this competition. So I think that pretty much covers the competition and uh, this has actually turned out to be quite a, a lengthy segment running through all the competition details and also the brewery kit by Metcalf. So all the details and information for this competition are also added into the description just down below here so please go and check that out plus also the email address is there to submit your entries. So I think that pretty much covers everything for the competition and it will be great to see the entries coming in and uh, seeing what ideas people come up with. In the meantime there will probably be another video that I'll be uploading in between this video 
and the prize draw video in a couple of weeks so make sure you stay tuned also any questions whatsoever about this competition please leave your comments below so uh, i will sign off now please everyone look after yourselves take care be safe and i will catch you next time bye for now